ghost gear is lost or discarded gear, but they call it ghost gear because nets that are discarded in the sea can carry on fishing. So in effect, they're ghost fishing gear. In the first year we recorded ghost gear, washed up on the beaches, we recorded 50,000 litres, which is about 50 tonnes of ghost gear. Lost fishing gear and marine plastics affect grey seals. We have a very large number of entangled live seals that are caught up in lost fishing gear. There's so much net and debris out there that nobody really knows how much has been lost and what quantities have been lost. All we do know is that there is a vast amount of nets, pots, line, hooks that is just floating about out there that's, that's continuing to fish. Stopping lost fishing gear getting into the sea to start with is really a top aim. But I think it's reduce, remove and recycle. My primary role is we go down, we survey the nets. Uh, once we've conducted the survey to see what's caught and trapped in the nets, uh, we then look at ways and means of lifting. Once we've established a plan in order to lift the nets, we then dive down and uh, conduct a lift in order to recover the pots and the, uh, the net that's uh, been trapped and lost. We've rescued animals, numerous animals, from entanglement in lost fishing gear. Many organisations across the globe are helping to remove ghost gear as well as preventing it from entering the oceans in the first place. World Animal Protection, Surfers Against Sewage, Fishing for Litter and Healthy Seas are just a few examples. We've been in partnership with World Animal Protection for the first year of our surveys and they've been campaigning globally to try and uh, reduce the amount of net that enters the sea in the first place. Locally we partner with uh, Surfers Against Sewage and all the local uh, marine conservation groups and try and join in with their beach cleans whenever we can and record the gear that they find. Fishing for Litter is a fantastic uh, scheme as well that lots of local fishermen participate in. We're working in conjunction with Healthy Seas, World Animal Protection uh, and a number of external agencies. The way I think forward is a lot of education. Education is crucial. More people should be aware of what's damaging our environment. Surfers Against Sewage brought schools together to educate them on the threats and together they thought of ways to help prevent them from happening in the first place. <laughs>